Kia ora, it's Ruth here in my backyard in Christchurch and today what I'm doing is I'm kind of thinning my strawberries as well as transplanting the runners. It's a great time to you to do it if you've already got your strawberries because they should be going dormant now. I'll show you soon some flowers and stuff that are all online. But it's great to be able to give them some more space so they can have a better growing season next year with more room. And if you've been like me collecting runners that have come off to make new plants, great time to get them planted out as well. As you can see, the roots are just starting to come out the bottom of this planter. So behind me, these are some strawberries that I transplanted would be a week ago now and over the last week I've been doing kind of a few strawberries every day. Had not realised how, how well my strawberries had multiplied in my garden so I'll definitely have a lot that I can give away. And I'm planning to maybe get a few more from the garden centre. The variety I have here I've got no idea. These ones are runners of runners of runners that I've had for probably the last seven years that have gone through moving house and moving gardens and um, some of the plants are probably seven years old themselves something that I thought was that you had to replenish your plants every two or so years what I have learned is that's what commercial growers might be doing um, but as a home gardener if I feed them and if I let them um, yeah, go well they actually keep lasting they're really good so if you've got strawberries don't feel like you do need to pull them out after two years I found actually the two th the two, number two and number three year they've got the best fruit um, and then I transplant them and then they go again so Time to get some strawberries in the ground, but I'll just show you what I've been doing so far with some of the strawberries I've been moving. And also, how rough you can be with strawberries. Now, don't blame me if all your strawberries die, but these ones have been in the ground for about a week. Some of them are a little less, oh, that one's less perky because it's not even planted. <laughs> but some of them are a little less perky, some of them are more. You can be quite rough with them and they'll live. I learned this when we moved house. I pulled them all out of the planter box we had them in because I needed to move the planter box. Left them in a bucket for about a month. Finally got around to doing something probably about two months after that and they all lived. So strawberries are pretty hardy. Okay, I'll show you the gardens that they've come from and then what I'm doing to replant them. Super simple. So here are some of the other strawberry runners. You can see where kind of the cords have come off but these guys are all going well. Oh, and they've even still got strawberries on them. A little bit crazy. Here is where I've been pulling them out of, and I've got this far to go in this bed. And then round on this side, I haven't touched this one yet, I've got the whole bed to go. But they are still making, well, beautiful strawberry flowers, but actually it's the wrong time of year. So what I'm doing while I'm taking everything apart is I'm pulling off all these flowers because I don't want them to put energy into producing flowers. I'd like them to put energy into making strawberries or growing the leaves, growing the root system. What I'm going to do here is find where all the different strawberry plants are. Some of them, like these ones, are already off the ground and some of them are in the ground. So let's dig down. So, you'll see all this root structure. There's some roots at the end, but really there's all these little kind of bits that come off it. I'm just gonna break these all apart. And each of these, becomes their own new plant. They might wilt um, the first day or two that you put them in, but after a little while they'll all pop up and you'll end up having a whole lot more plants. So here, one like this, you've got all the flowers, you've got some offshoots, I'm going to pull off all these leaves. And I'm going to pull out these flowers as well, as pretty as they are, it doesn't need to be putting its energy into growing strawberries at the moment. So there you go, I've just pulled out all three at once. But even that, look at that, there's even roots on there. So I could even have a go at planting this as a new plant. And there's another little baby one. But as you can see down the bottom here, there's a root. So this big thing looks like this big dead hunk that was connected. Each plant has a chance, let's pull this one off, of growing itself with its own little roots. So then, super simple, I take my strawberry and this bit here is the crown above here and these are where the roots are. So the crown you want above the soil, the roots underneath, so you can see it doesn't actually need to go very deep. I have a compost blend that I've made and here is some soil, um, normal garden soil as well as compost so it's not too rich. And I'm just going to move this away and plant it near my blueberries. So there you have it, one lovely strawberry. And then don't forget to grab your watering can and give it a really good water in. Now that I've got that plant in, I've only got about 100 more to go. Have you seen these? This is where my blueberries are. And I'm putting my blueberries and strawberries together because they both like acidic soil and also means I only have to connect one area of the garden rather than having two areas really close to each other. So hopefully, come next summer, my strawberries and my blueberries will be able to thrive together.
So that is the planting of the strawberries. One thing is, you may have seen it before in one of my videos, last year I spent a lot of time painting strawberry rocks. The idea behind them was that you put them in with your strawberries and the birds come and peck at them and think, oh, these aren't worth it. Don't go for your real strawberries. Complete fail. If you've tried it, it's worked for you, I'd love to know. Leave a comment. But for me, I've got now some beautiful painted strawberry rocks. But they do nothing. They just sit in my garden and look nice and when we have little kids around they play with them. Thank you so much for watching. Since I'm planning to buy some new strawberry varieties, I'd love to know what your favourites are. Please leave a comment below and I'll catch you later. Kakite.